Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we're making a Corpse Bride fairy doll. This is a fairy I was really excited to do for the month of October, and I was a little bit slower getting it out than I hoped for, but it turned out so cute that I really wanted to post this before Halloween, so let's grab some supplies and get started. Now the first thing you're going to need is a basic fairy doll. And if you are new to my fairy making tutorials, you'll want to check out my basic fairy doll tutorial by clicking on the link in the corner, click on the little video, and it will take you to my tutorial where I teach you how to take a wooden bead, some embroidery floss, and some floral wire, and twist it into this cute little doll. Um, we will be changing it up a bit today. We will be taking our bead, and I have a lot of people ask me what types of beads I buy. These are 3 fourths of an inch with a 1 8 inch hole, and then we'll be painting it blue. And the color I'm using is called Spa Blue, and then I found some thread that matched it. So you can get any type of light green, light blue, um, and then I picked out this purpley blue color for her hair because of course she is a corpse. Um, I've got some white thread for her dress, and then some different white flowers. I actually had these left over from my regular Bride Fairy Dolls, so if you haven't seen that video, please check that out. But these are longer, more flowy um, flowers, and I'm only using a couple of them. And then I found these little teeny tiny purple flowers. We're going to make a little spiny crown for our Corpse Bride, and I am using some purple tulle. I'm actually using purple because I couldn't find white, but then I decided that the purple actually looked better because it looks a little bit more worn. You'll need an extra piece piece of floral wire and a needle and thread. And then to embellish my doll, I have some micro beads in white in the silvery color. I find these at Michael's and I'll put the link below. You'll need some Mod Podge and a little foam brush and a little paint brush because we'll be painting detail on her. And then I have some different colors of gray paint. Now these are all just ideas. You can mix this up any way that you'd like. Um, I just wanted to give you some general ideas on how to do this and of course my glue gun set on low and a pair of scissors. Okay, the first step is to paint our little wooden bead. So I've just grabbed this bamboo skewer and I'm putting my wooden bead through it and it just made it a lot easier to paint my bead. And I did make a huge mess and get the paint all over my fingers. But the idea is to get two coats of the acrylic paint onto your bead. And you can see this is kind of a grayish blue color. And then I just put it over a bowl and let it dry. And here's my bead after two coats. And then you're going to fold the floral wire just like you would do for a regular fairy doll, thread her hair through the floral wire and slide the bead up to the top. And from there, you're going to twist your doll. And instead of using a flesh color, we're going to use this blue corpse color. And so once again, if you're new to my fairy tutorials, please check out the basic fairy doll tutorial. The only thing that's different with this is she has a blue head that we painted, um, blue embroidery floss for her body and some blue hair. So then I'm going to grab some white for her dress. And her dress is strapless, so I'm just going to do it right underneath her arms. And I'm going to dress her just like I dress a normal fairy doll. And once again, that's in my basic fairy doll tutorial. And trim off the excess, and you can see she just has this top to her dress that is strapless. And then I'm going to take two of her, of the white flower petals. You want her dress to be long. It's kind of flowy, kind of, um, a little bit tattered and torn and so I liked that these petals were a little bit fringed and so these two seem to work well for me so when you're looking for flowers look for some that are bigger um, you can always go back over them and cut them up a little bit if you want them a little bit more raggedy but I liked the design on the outside of these petals because it made it look a little bit torn and I'm only using two layers of the flowers for her skirt and then take your glue gun and dab some glue to hold her skirt in place. You can see I've got paint all over. And then I am going to add some beads to the top and then bottom part of her dress. So I am taking my Mod Podge and my little tiny paintbrush and it was just easier to do the detail at the top this way. So I'm putting a little bit of the glue at the top of her dress in a thin line and you want quite a bit of it. And then I'm going to take my beads, sprinkle them over that little spot, 
and then you wanna let it dry completely. If you don't, the beads will start to fall off. So let it dry completely, and then I'm putting a V at the base of her skirt to just add, this is just adding the beaded decoration that the corpse bride had on her dress. You could also use glitter for this part. And that is what this part looks like. And then I pour my excess beads back in my little container and I'm going to add some white beads in the same way to the rest of the bodice of her dress. So just up around her waist and right below where the blue beads are. And this is just adding some texture and dimension to her dress. Um, her dress in the movie is very beaded and I just thought this added a fun detail to her dress. Now you will want to let this set up. Um, if some of the beads start to come off, just add a little bit more paint and fix that up. But if they will stay in place, just let it dry completely. Then I'm going to grab my tool and I'm going to measure out several inches of it. I actually want it to be longer um, than my doll. So because we want it to flow down in the back and trail on the ground. So I just fold it in half. I'm going to cut off one of the edges and it does not have to be perfect. Her veil is tattered and torn so then I'm going to go back through and snip just barely cut with my scissors a little bit of the tool and then kind of tear it because we want it to look raggedy and and torn and then I'm going to cut just a little bit off the top and set that aside and then grab your extra piece of floral wire and I just wrap it around my doll's head to kind of get the size that I need Wrap it around twice, we're making a crown, and hold it up to your doll's head. And when you have it the size you want, go ahead and fold the ends around. So you can see that's a little bit big. I'm going to adjust it, because we want that to fit right on her head. And see that little in-between space between the two pieces of floral wire. We're going to take our little purple flowers, and I liked these. I actually like the green spiky part where it looks like the flowers have fallen off. This is going to add the detail of the tattered flowers that were on her veil. So I add some glue and then I'm going to stick the ends of the flowers right in between the glue and just kind of pinch it just to hold those in place. And then I go back through and add some more glue to the back and let that set up. Now grab your needle and thread and at the very top of the veil you're going to gather the top. So in and out and in and out. Do, run a gathering stitch across the top. I spread it out a little bit to the width that I want it and tie it off with a knot. And then before I cut the thread off, I wanna leave it intact. We're going to sew it right on to our little veil. So on the back, and I just wrap the thread around the wreath or her little crown, and I'm going to just kind of tack it down. You could use glue for this part too, but I thought where the needle was already in my veil, it would just be easier to sew it on. And go ahead and tie that off. And then we're going to style our doll's hair. So I'm just going to leave her hair down. Um, just like you do in my basic fairy doll tutorial, smooth the hair down, loop it up and around and glue it down in the back so it makes her hair full. And then I kind of part it to the side, covering up the little white piece of wire, and go back through with the glue gun and just touch up any spots that need to be pressed down a little bit more or any parts where you just need to arrange it a little bit better. The key is to use tiny dabs of glue and to work slowly. I always say this, but the hair is one of the hardest parts. Then I'm going to grab my two colors of gray paint and my blue and I'm just gonna go through and add a little bit of this to her skirt because we want it to look dirty and tattered and and weathered because she's she's a corpse and so I'm just kind of dabbing it in different places I like to get a couple of the different colors on the little brush and then kind of pat it down onto the piece of paper before I go over the dress it seems to um, just make it look more smudged and then I'm going to add a little bit of the gray to the flowers because we want those to look a little bit weathered and I also added some to the ends and the sides of her veil 
And that is it, guys. You have a Corpse Bride fairy doll. Happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching. If you have comments or questions, please post those below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. That would be awesome. I've got a lot of fun videos coming up for the holidays. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And check out some of my other YouTube videos tutorials or you can go to untidyartist.com and check them out there. As always, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it and we will see you next time.